First of all, I think you've got to point to the opportunities that exist through collaboration. So, for example, um, it may well be that you simply don't have the right skill set or, or, or range of experience within your either department or institution. So you can actually simply carry out new research and cutting edge research through collaboration that you couldn't do otherwise. And that might be purely because of the individuals uh, involved and the skills and the background and expertise they bring to it. Or it might just simply be because of the infrastructure in that University A has specialist kit in, in, in X, University B has specialist kit in Y. Fusing them together allows uh, synergies to be made and, and, and new path-breaking research to be undertaken. If you think about certain things that might stop, facetiously you, you could say that if we really want to place greater emphasis on the reuse of existing resources, whether they be published resources, whether they be data resources and other kinds of research resources, you could argue that actually the best thing to do is to stop funding the creation of new resources. Uh, and if you do that uh, over a number of years, then that will actually force people to start thinking about how they can better use what already exists, how we can get more value uh, out of the existing bottles of wine, so to speak. And now, of course, that's playing very much a devil advocate's role, and there's no way that I, as a, as a researcher myself, would fully support the idea of research councils and other funders completely turning off the taps of the creation of new uh, research resources. But that said, I think what we need perhaps is a more balanced economy where more money is specifically funneled into trying to promote research and particularly collaborative interdisciplinary research which is effectively using existing resources rather than continually putting money into the creation of new.